Evidence-informed decision-making has actually been an important, I would say, transformational time in my, in my career. I think utilizing evidence uh, to inform the work we do, raising our game in evaluation of the work we do, in publishing the work we do, I think that is something that we must step up in public health to do. We're now responsible for population health in an information age where we've never had a more informed public. We owe it to the public to be using information. We were looking at developing a comprehensive strategy to address the primary prevention of childhood obesity. And there was lots of opinions, lots of tacit knowledge, lots of experience and uh, isolated uh, program evaluations that had happened in component parts of the program. But I really insisted that we take the time uh, in our work to do a systematic review of the literature. And that wasn't popular initially. People felt that we knew enough, that we should just go forward with programs and services and really do what was popular in the communities we were serving. So I learned that I needed to be a strong advocate and in fact a champion of this. And that it wasn't relying on my role in positional power as a director, but rather to build an understanding that the end product among the staff and colleagues I work with would actually be stronger and that we could really, uh, in all good consciousness then, develop evaluations to look at, was our work achieving the outcomes we thought we would achieve? So uh, it did take time. We are now in year three of our work in the primary prevention of childhood obesity, and I feel so confident going out uh, in terms of the knowledge uh, translation or knowledge transfer opportunities that we have to share our work and to talk about what the evidence is showing and also to speak quite honestly about where the gaps are in the literature. So I think the days of saying we don't have time for evidence-informed decision-making, uh, our organization's too small, we don't have the capacity to use it, that's unacceptable now. We have a responsibility to use evidence in all of the decisions we make.